Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a cool trick that you can do with your text phone. We're going to learn how to shut down a computer just by sending it a text message from our cell phone. What we'll need to do for this project is we will need an Outlook account and an email account to go with that. We'll need a query account and we'll also need a texting capable cell phone. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing that we'll want to do is create a file called shutdown.bat. So to do this, open up Notepad and type in uh, what you see below. And what this does is it points to the shutdown application and the dash S means to shut down, dash F means to force it, and dash T is to set the timer to zero seconds. And then just save this file anywhere. Um, I'm putting it in my C drive, but make sure you save it as shutdown.bat. That's very important. All right, the second step we want to do is we want to uh, uh, get a, an email account that is POP3 capable. If you don't have one or don't know, you can sign up for a free Gmail account. And this is what I did for this project. All right, the second thing we want to do is we want to or the third thing we want to do is we want to um, set up Microsoft Outlook for a POP3 account. So go to Tools, Email Accounts, and add a POP3 account. And then just type in your information. For mine, I just created one called tinkernut at gmail.com. And the POP server is pop.gmail.com. SMTP server is smtp.gmail.com. Uh, make sure you set the outgoing server to enabled and for the incoming POP3 server type in 995 and then check both of the boxes below that and then click OK and that's pretty much it for that alright the fourth thing we want to do is we want to sign up for a query account so go to www.querykwiry.com and what this program is is it it allows you to send it text messages um, with something in it and it will email it to your email account so it, it's uh, it's pretty cool because we can send it a text and it will send us in an email what we sent in the text so just sign up for that account and we'll move on to the fifth step which is to set up a rule in Outlook and but before we do that, we w what we want to do is we want to set our send and receive settings um, so that it updates, this. it checks for new messages every minute. Um, if you want it to wait longer, you can, but just for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll set it to a minute. So then go to Tools, Rules, and Alerts and create a new rule. And you want to create a blank rule, and uh, you want to check the messages when they arrive and then you want to search for a specific subject word or word in the subject line and this is going to be your space query space dash space shut down and this is what is going to be in the subject whenever you receive the email this is what it's going to say alright and then what we want it to do once it finds an email that has that subject line is we want it to start an application and the application we want it to start We'll change this to all files, but the application that we want it to start is uh, the shutdown.bat file that we made. All right, so then click next and click finish, and then you can click apply and OK, and that's pretty much it. So the next thing you'll want to do, the sixth step, is you want to send it a text message. So. Um, just send it to 59479 which is your query account and then just in the body put shut down and then send it and then I kinda sped this up for the purposes of uh, not making this tutorial too long but generally you would have to wait a minute and then whenever Outlook receives the email um, it's gonna start the shutdown.bat file and then it's gonna shut down your computer well, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.